We're back tonight from Washington, a city, as you know, that's been the destination for so many family vacations and school field trips, a place where visitors can get an up-close look at soaring monuments to past presidents, the glory of the U.S. Capitol, the list of attractions goes on and on. And now the fascination is only going to increase because the man who gave us the Da Vinci Code, the novelist Dan Brown, has turned his attention to Washington. The story tonight from NBC's Pete Williams. Step aside, Lincoln Memorial. Make way, Washington Monument. The city's tourism industry expects new waves of visitors will soon follow in the footsteps not of Abraham Lincoln and Thomas Jefferson, but Robert Langdon, the code-breaking hero of Dan Brown's latest novel, The Lost Symbol. Early action unfolds in the U.S. Capitol Rotunda under a painting of George Washington as godlike. The father of our country was also a Mason, and the rituals of Freemasonry are the novel's driving theme. At the George Washington Masonic Memorial in the city's suburbs, they're considering special tours. We take this in stride and we, we accept maybe our 15 minutes or maybe 15 months of fame. The house of the Temple of the Scottish Rite, a dozen blocks from the White House, seems camera ready for Hollywood, bursting with symbols literally from the ground up. The steps rise in groups of three, five, seven, and nine, an important series in Freemasonry to the entrance guarded by sphinxes. The building is decorated with enough signs of Freemasonry ritual to tempt any symbol hunter. Temple archivist and historian Arturo de Hoya says it even has secret passages. This is a hidden door, but it actually leads to the organ loft, and it's our roof access. You can't tell me there aren't people buried there. <laughs> I can tell you that. But he and other Freemasons welcome the attention. Absolutely. That gives us an opportunity to tell people who we are and what we believe in. Any doubters about the power of Dan Brown's books to draw big crowds can ask the master of London's Temple Church, scene of some of the action in the Da Vinci Code. And they would ask as they came in to the Vajra, they'd ask, have you read the book? And the Vajra is still determined to believe that they are asking about the Bible. No such confusion expected here, where hopes are high that the lost symbol will help this city find new treasure. Pete Williams, NBC News, Washington.